Hey guys, my name's Rakesh Patel. I'm a senior clinical audiologist at Pindrop Hearing. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overlay around what tinnitus is. Now, a lot of people will find when they, when they talk about tinnitus, they're told that there's nothing you can do about it. Now, what I'm here to tell you is there is a lot of things that can be done, but first we have to identify if you actually have tinnitus. So there's two types of tinnitus, subjective, which is the most common type of tinnitus that most individuals will, will have. And this is a, a type of tinnitus that only you as an individual can hear. Most people will tend to describe it as a ringing, a buzzing, a whooshing, or it can be sort of a roaring, but each individual will have a slightly different perception of it. The other is what we call objective tinnitus, now this is a sort of a type of tinnitus which is caused by some degree of abnormality. So, you know, examples of that are, you know, what we call pulsatile tinnitus, which is where you can hear your own heart beating or you can hear the blood rushing through your veins. Uh, and other types are, you can have a little sort of, sort of vibration of the actual eardrum, which is caused by a, a muscle within the middle ear, which is essentially sporadically tensing and relaxing, creating this vibration.